What's going on there YouTube and welcome back to another comic book video. Alright guys, so we are going to jump back into more of our Ultimate Marvel reading order. And guys, we pick up with Ultimate Spider-Man number 13. Now guys, if you are new to my channel, please leave me a like down below. Also, subscribe for more comic book stories in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read, let me know in the comments below. Because guys, every Monday we are covering the Ultimate Marvel reading order. And guys, I'm pretty sure you do not want to miss out on this long, long journey. Now, Today, guys, we are covering Ultimate Spider-Man number 13. Now, guys, the reason why I did not skip this book and go ahead and cover volume three is because I like this book a lot. Because the way Brian Michael Bendis wrote this book is basically two teenagers sitting down and acting, acting like teenagers. And the thing is, guys, when I read this book last week, I was kind of like, man, this remind me of myself at this age acting like this you know hey man come over i got a big secret to tell you this big big secret that you can't tell anybody like when i read this book it reminded me of myself back at that age and so guys peter parker called up mary jane at the end of our last video volume two and the thing is she does come over and you do have peter kind of like listen mary jane i have a big big secret that you can't tell anybody. I mean, you can't tell Flash, you can't tell Kong, you can't tell Liz or Gwen, you can't tell anybody. And the thing is, you know, you have Mary Jane kind of like, Peter, what is this big secret? Like, go ahead and tell me this big, big secret. And the thing is, Peter's kind of like, listen, all right, what I'm gonna tell you, you can't freak out. Like, you really can't freak out, Mary Jane. Like, this is big. This is huge. You cannot freak out. And again, you do have Mary Jane kind of like, Peter, can you please go ahead and tell me what is your big secret? And of course, you do have Peter kind of like, okay, listen, I'm Spider-Man. And of course, you know, like most people, like Peter Parker telling somebody this, they start laughing at him. So of course, Mary Jane is laughing at him. She's kind of like, dude, for real now, there's no way that you are Spider-Man. There's no way you are because you're Peter Parker. And the thing is, you have Peter kind of like, no, for real. Like, no, for real. Mary Jane, I am Spider-Man. Like, I am the guy you saw at our school fighting the Green Goblin. I am the guy you see on TV every day doing some crazy stuff. I am Spider-Man. And again, Mary Jane is kind of like, dude, listen, you are not Spider-Man. There's no way that you, Peter Parker, is Spider-Man. And so you do have Peter Parker kind of like, okay, you know what? Let me show you that I am Spider-Man. Let me show you. And so, of course, you do have Peter Parker basically bouncing off the walls, doing all these different kinds of tricks to show her, hey, I'm not lying. I really am Spider-Man. Like, I am the guy you see on TV. I was that guy who fought against that monster in our school, the Green Goblin. You know, the guy who Harry claims is his father? That was me. I am Spider-Man. And Mary Jane is again kind of like, she's in shock. Matter of fact, she starts screaming. Now, of course, you do have Peter Parker kind of like, you can't scream. You cannot scream. Because one, my aunt's here. And she would think that we're up here doing the nasty and we can't have her thinking that so please stop screaming but of course mary jane's kind of like oh my god you're for real you are for real you are spider-man and again peter's kind of like yeah i've been trying to tell you this i am spider-man i'm that guy you see on tv every day i'm that guy i am spider-man and guys that's it that's really it for this book but the thing is guys this is Peter Parker basically beginning some kind of trend in Ultimate Spider-Man where people start to find out his identity. Like, no joke, in the main Marvel timeline, Peter Parker, barely anyone knew that he was Spider-Man. But guys, after this book right here, 
you are going to see that a lot of people are going to find out that he is Spider-Man. That Peter Parker is Spider-Man. And you are going to see this a lot. And this book right here, it starts that trend. It starts that trend where people are kind of like, hey, Peter Parker, he's Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Now we know. Now we know how to hurt him how to attack him, how to get him to put up a fight against us. We know how to fight against Peter Parker. You are going to see a trend happening in this book. Now, to wrap up this video, basically you do have Mary Jane and Peter Parker kind of get close. It's kind of like, you know what? I like the fact that you're Spider-Man. It's kind of hot. And so you do have Peter Parker and Mary Jane about to kiss. But of course, Aunt May walks in. She's kind of like, hey. Um, no, 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 no. There's no kissing. There's no making out. There's no banging in my house. Mary Jane, I called your mom. Go home. I'll see you tomorrow. And it's kind of like, dang, Aunt May, that's messed up. Like Aunt May just ruined the first kiss for Peter Parker in his life. Like, dang, Aunt May, you do know how to block some people. That's kind of bad. But guys, that's really it for Ultimate Spider-Man number 13. Now, the next video, we'll cover volume three. And guys, volume three, we do see the return of a good character that I like the most, Doc Ock. Now guys, when we last saw him, he was back in volume one, the first video of Ultimate Spider-Man. But he's now back for volume three. And guys, I will cover that in the next video. But anyways, guys, like I said, please leave me a like down below. Also, subscribe for more comic book stories in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here, and I'll see you on the next comic book video. Later, guys.